guys i've been taking pictures of myself for a while to show the um changes in my skin after trying new products that hiram recommends and if you don't know who he is he's an amazing youtuber who makes really good educational skincare videos and you can easily binge if you ever want to know things about skin care products and how to help your skin without breaking your wallet so yeah and just keep in mind that i have combination oily skin here's me in april and my skin honestly wasn't too bad compared to how other people have it but i just wanted to get rid of my little blemishes since we are, are in quarantine and you can see here on my forehead i just have some and then definitely on that side of my face of my cheek you could see the dark marks and scarring from me like picking at my acne when i was younger it's still there and then a little bit on my nose and then this side's not as bad so you can see on my chin and then there's a little bit like near my hairline and my eyebrow for some of my pictures, I also like took pictures of my forehead and my chin especially to show the changes. Sometimes I didn't feel like it, mostly just the sides of my face. But when I started trying the products, I knew about skin purging and how my skin can break out more. So here you find skin was breaking out a little bit more than it was before. And then you could see here after a week, like it was really, really good. Like I've never seen my pores so small, my skin felt really smooth. And then over time, I got even better, and it was just like really amazing, I was excited. So you could see the improvement, and they get a little worse at times, but overall, it looks really good. So now I'm going to show you my regular skincare routine, and I'll include the prices for all the products. So for step one, this is the Kale Green Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser by Youth to the People. Very great. I would always forget for this cleanser you have to wet your face first and they have the squirt thing you can put on top but I go from campus to home and like sleep with my friends too much so I just don't include it because I don't want it to spill on anything and it's just me applying it to my face then I just cleanse for like 30 seconds to a minute and I just bed this up and then I go and rinse my face off and I dab my face I do not scrub it because that's going to be harsh to your skin and then I dry it, let it air dry for like a little like 30 seconds or so. And I like help fan it out. The second step is the ordinary niacinamide 10% plus zinc. And I just squirt a little on my hand. You're supposed to only use like two drops. And yeah, here's the second, the second drop had trouble coming out. Look at that bubble. So yeah, then after doing that, I go and rub it into my hand and then apply it on my face because it's a very powerful treatment apparently. And the ordinary products are really cheap. It's my first time trying them and I'm really satisfied with them. So I just gently rub into my face, most of my problem areas. I just don't apply too many products to like to the lower left part of my face because it's normally really clear and I feel like if I just apply products to like a non-problematic area, it could break it out. So the next step is I get in cotton ball and I tear it in half just to utilize all the cotton that I have and I have to go back and buy more. And here I'm using the glycolic acid toner and I just put a little bit of it on and then I dab. So here I am just dabbing it just like all over primarily like where there's dark marks. And I let it air dry. And this is Apollo's Choice Two Percent BHA Liquid Exfoliant, and it's supposed to be really, really, really good. It has salicylic acid. So what I would do is I would just put a little bit on the cotton ball, and the thing is, like, not a lot comes out because it's a very small hole, and it's good so that you don't like spill too much. So I would normally have to go and pour more so I can cover all my face because it's just like drying your skin really good, which is I guess good, but like I feel like you need more product. I switch this and the glycolic acid toner every other day, so I don't use both in the day, because that's a lot of exfoliating. And then again, here's me fanning myself. The next step, I use the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA, and again, I'm using a lot of acid on my face. So the glycolic acid, it was a little bit burning my face at first when I first started trying it. Now I don't really feel it. This still kind of stinks a little. My boyfriend described it as like an icy hot feeling. Like if you use icy hot for like your muscles. Um, but yeah, I just put a little on my face. 
and it's really it's supposed to pull out like moisture from the air into your skin and help moisturize it and i feel it's really good and doesn't break you out it's not super thick or anything and i like it and don't forget to apply it to your neck you have to make sure you apply sunscreen so this is the neutrogena sheer zinc spf 50 sunscreen so a lot of neutrogena products are supposed to like really bad uh, according to Hiram and like other articles that I've read when you look at the ingredients list and it, this does give you like a lot of wipe. I mean, I mean it's sunscreen so like what do you expect? So you kind of have to rub it in your face more but I feel like it really protects my skin. I've been to the beach twice. My face hasn't been burnt so I think it's effective. But yeah, so I just like apply it in, make sure it's all gone and I'm done.